Now we have a large picture here with many angles that we have to find. So first, it looks intimidating, so we are gonna try and just start very simply. And instead of trying to find angles in order, just start to write down angles that we can find quickly. For example, if we have that this angle here is 64, I then know the angle across from that is 64 because they would be the same. And the two angles next to each other have to add up to 180. And so when I do 64, 180 minus 64, I get 116. And so both of those angles are 116 degrees. I'm gonna move them out of the way so I can see my letters that those are A and G. Okay, <clears throat> so now we look for a pod of four angles first. Okay, the second thing we might look for are if there are parallel lines. This line and this line are indicated parallel. So in doing that, we have then this Z that we can form with the transversal. And so that means that if this is 64, then this angle is also 64. And so I have 64 degrees here. And once I have one angle, I should write down all four of those. That will be 64, and that will be 116, and that will be 116. So I now have all four of those angles. Now again, looking at parallel lines, I have these two lines that are parallel. And so I can take this group of four angles and slide them over to correspond to that group of four angles. So this 116 is going to slide right there. So that would be 116 degrees. D is going to be 64. This is 116 degrees, and this is 64. And notice I'm finding all kinds of angles that it doesn't ask for, but I often need those to find other angles. So I've used parallel lines a lot. Um, I also can look for then triangles. So I see a triangle here. And so I know that the angles inside a triangle have to add up to 180. So if I do 116 plus 50, I get 131, and if I subtract from 180, that means that this angle H is going to be 49 degrees. And so if that's 49, I know the angle across from it, its vertical angle is also 49, and so I have another triangle here, and I have 49 and 116, and I just did a triangle, it's actually similar to this triangle here where the angles are the same. So that means that angle E is going to be 15 degrees. Again, I could find that by doing 116 plus 49 and subtract it from 180. All right, so I have almost everything. I have not yet found F, which is over here. But looking back at my parallel lines, I have those two lines are parallel, and therefore I can take 64, and I know that that is going to correspond or slide over to F, and so F is also 64 degrees. And by the way, this would be 116, this would be 116, however, this is not 64, because this entire angle would be 64. So I could do 64 minus 15 to find that piece. However, it's not necessary. We don't need to find that. We have all of our answers.